Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create a gigantic modern mansion. And this mansion is made with a mixture between sandstone blocks and spruce wood planks. This mansion contains an enormous amount of rooms, and due to its enormous size, it requires a lot of resources. However, I assembled this build into easy to follow steps. And without further ado, let's start the build. This mansion is roughly 44 by 36 blocks wide, and it is 18 blocks tall. Now here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this house. Also, this entire build project will require a 44 block area by 36 block area spacing, and I mark my area with coarse dirt blocks, and you can do the same exact pattern. That way you know how big the layout is before we start the build. In addition, this build level is rated at a master level on the Greg Builds building skill. Now this mansion is the biggest house I've built to date, and this project will definitely take a little bit of time, but I'll be here step by step to help guide you through this build process. Step 1. First let's make the main base rectangle to the house. We'll need 1,288 sandstone blocks. From the back left corner, move over to the 8th dirt block over. Then we can move back 9 additional grass blocks. Then place a sandstone block on the 9th additional grass block back. Then let's make the back row a total of 30 blocks wide. Then let's make the side a total of 18 blocks wide. Then once completed, let's add 13 additional sandstone blocks on top of this pattern. And this will make the sandstone wall a total of 14 blocks tall. Step 2. Next let's add the front and back additions to the building. We'll need 728 sandstone blocks for this step. At the corner of the house, move over to the 4th sandstone block. Then on the 4th block over, we can extend out 4 more blocks. Then make the front a total of 7 blocks wide. Then we can connect back to the main house. Then let's add 13 more additional blocks on top of this pattern. And that'll make the wall total of 14 blocks tall. And this is the same height as the walls behind it. Then let's do the same exact pattern three more times. To refresh, move over four spaces from the corner of the building. Then make a four long row. Then make the front a total of seven blocks wide. Then we can connect back to the main house. Then raise the walls upwards and make sure they're level with the walls behind it. Now that will leave 10 blocks of spacing in between the two towers. Next let's repeat the same pattern two more times along the back side of the mansion. Again, move over to the fourth space, then add four additional blocks, then make the front a total of seven blocks wide. Then 
Then we can raise the walls upwards until they're a total of 14 blocks tall. Then we can repeat this one more time. Step 3. Next we just add in the side additions to the mansion. We'll need 504 sandstone blocks. At the side of the mansion, let's move over to the 4th sandstone block. Then make a 4 wide row. Then we can extend the side out for a total of 12 blocks wide. then connect back to the building. Now this will leave three blocks of spacing on the ends. And we can raise the walls to the same height as the previous walls. Then let's do the same pattern for the other side of the house. To refresh, Move over to the 4th sandstone block. Then make a 4 wide row. Now this will leave 3 blocks of spacing on the ends. Then make it make this side a total of 12 blocks long. Then let's connect back to the main building. And raise the wall so they're flush with the other walls behind it. And that will be a total of 14 blocks tall. Step 4. Next we just add in the upper tower sections. We'll need 276 sandstone blocks, 292 spruce slabs, 108 spruce fence posts, and 84 glass blocks. To start, let's make a 3 tall by 7 wide wall. And make sure this lines up with the sandstone addition in the front. Then let's extend this 3 tall wall to the other side. Then we can make the back side 7 blocks wide as well. Then we can continue back to the front. Next we can add in a spruce slab placeholder, and one next to that. Then we can remove the placeholder and make a ring around the inner side of the new addition. Then let's add glass blocks in the remaining openings. Next we can add a spruce slab placeholder, and one in front of that, then remove the placeholder and continue this ring around to the other side. Then let's add spruce fence posts under the slabs. Then we can add additional slabs under the fence post.
Then we can repeat the same exact process for the other side. To refresh, make a 3 tall by 7 wide wall. And make sure it lines up with the front addition. Then we can extend this 3 tall wall to the back. Then we can fill across the back and back along to the start. Then add a ring of slabs up top. Then following this we can add glass blocks in the opening. Then we can add a ring of slabs. As well as fence posts underneath and more slabs on the bottom side. Step 5. Next was head inside and make the first, second, and third floor. We'll need 1,824 spruce planks and 86 spruce stairs. To start, let's make a 2x2 two two opening at the center of the building. And this will leave 4 blocks of spacing on either side of the doorway. Then inside the mansion, we can add in spruce planks on top of the grass. Then let's add another plank at the 6 block up. as well as another spruce plank at the 10th sandstone block up. Then we can fill in the first floor. Next let's make openings that lead into the front and rear additions. To help better explain where the openings go, I'll quickly show a diagram on the screen. First we'll need an opening right in the center. And we already made this opening and we left four blocks of spacing on either side of the doorway. Then after that we can make an opening that leads into the addition. And we can remove this seven sandstone block over from the doorway to start the opening. And then we can clear a three by three opening. Then we can fill in the floor in this new addition with spruce planks. And that will end up leaving 6 sandstone blocks of spacing in between the doorways. Then let's do the same on the other side, moving over 7 planks from the door. And then we can make a 3x3 three three opening. And again, this will leave 6 blocks of spacing in between the two openings. Then let's do the same pattern for the back side of the house. To refresh, make a doorway that lines up with the front doorway. Then from here we can move over 7 sandstone blocks. Then clear a 3x3 three three opening on the 7 sandstone block over. Then we can do the same on the other side. Next, let's work on the access to the side additions. Move over to the 5th sandstone block. Then we can clear a 2x2 two two opening on the 5th block over. Then let's count over 5 sandstone blocks from the corner. And make another 2x2 two two opening. Then we can fill the floor in here with spruce planks.
Then let's do the same on the other side. Next, at the front door, we can move back to the 6th spruce plank. Then on the 6th spruce plank, we can make a double wide staircase. Then we can add an upside down stairs along the back side, and continue this up till we are flush with the second level. And again, the second level will be at the 6th block up. Then we can fill in the second level floor with spruce planks. Then we can make openings just like the ones on the first level, with a doorway opening in the center. And then one for each of the front additions. Also, don't forget to fill in the floors in each of the additions. Then identical openings along the back wall. as well as openings on both of the side rooms. Then we can add in a staircase above the first one, and now also have upside down stairs, and we can continue this up until we're flush with the third floor, and the third floor will be at the 10th sandstone block up. Then we can fill in the floor and make more openings up here as well. And again, this diagram will help show where the doorways go. Next we can add in staircases that lead up to the smaller towers, and we can make these staircases 3 treads wide, and this new staircase will line directly with the front addition, and it will also line up with the main staircase as well. Then we can fill in the floor in the smaller tower.
and then make a repeat for the other tower on top. And I'm going to add in a three wide staircase. As well as spruce planks up here. Step 6. Next up is the front and back porches. We'll need 212 stone brick blocks, 28 stone brick stairs, 32 cobblestone wall sections, 140 spruce planks, 100 birch fence posts, and 200 spruce slabs. Let's start by placing stone brick blocks at the second space over from the front addition, and extend out for a total of 8 blocks. Then let's move over to the second block on the other side, and extend out for a total of 8 blocks as well. Then let's connect in the center and fill in between. Then let's add stone brick stairs three wide in the center. And we can make stairs in the sides that are two blocks wide. Next was added in a spruce roof. At the 6 sandstone block up, we can add in a spruce plank. Then extend this row out so it's a total of 7 blocks long. Then we can move up to the 6th block on the other side. Make another 7 long row. Then connect across and fill in the center. Then let's add birch fence posts along the outer edge of the spruce planks. Then we can add spruce slabs at the top, as well as spruce slabs at the bottom as well. Then once completed, let's add in cobblestone wall sections that extend down from the front corners. Then let's repeat the same exact pattern three more times. To refresh, move over to the second block over from the new addition. Then make this eight blocks long. Then make an eight long row on the other side. Then we can connect and fill in between. Also, let's add stone brick stairs on all three sides. Then let's add in spruce planks at the 6th block up. And we can make this row a total of 7 blocks long. Then once completed, we can add in birch fence posts along the outer edge of the spruce planks. Then add in spruce slabs to the top and bottom of the birch fence post. And don't forget to add in the cobblestone wall sections in the corner.
Now let's do this two more times for the back porches. And I'll play through this demonstration on how to build the porches. However, if you remember the same exact pattern, you can skip to the next step. Step 7. Next let's work on the first part of the window openings. We'll need 120 glass panes, 20 glass blocks, 8 spruce doors, and 20 spruce stairs for this step. First let's start at the side of the front addition. Clear our two tall window opening here. And then we can make a 3 wide by 2 tall opening in the front wall. Then place glass blocks in the corner and a spruce door in the center. Then place spruce stairs on top. Then let's place another two tall window on the side. Then for the center of the building, let's clear out two more additional sandstone blocks above the doors. Then we can add in doors and glass blocks. Then we can clear two more blocks and glass panes in the opening. Then do the same for the top. Then for this next addition, we can make a window in the side. As well as a 3 wide by 2 tall doorway in the front. Then another window on the side. Then 
Next was to add windows up above the spruce roof. And we can add in three windows along the front. Then one more on the side. Then let's do the same for the other side of the building, adding one window on the side, then three in the front, then one more on the side. Then let's add in another row of windows and start this by moving down three blocks from the top. Then we can move over. Then make a two tall window and double check that each window has two sandstone blocks of spacing. Then we could do the same on the other side. Now once this is completed, we can do the same exact window and door pattern on the back side of the house. To refresh, place one window on the side, then a doorway in the front addition. Then one more window on the side. Then we can extend the openings in the center up. We can make a doorway at the bottom with two spruce doors and two glass blocks. Then up above we can remove two more blocks as well and fill this with glass panes as this will be a window. Then for the top opening we can clear two more blocks and make one final window up here. Then we can add windows up above the spruce roof, with one on the side and three across the front. And another one on the side. Then continue this pattern to the other side. Then we can finish this off with one more row up top and leave two blocks of spacing in between the next set of windows. Step 8. Next up is the second part of the window installation and side decks. We'll need 128 glass panes, 76 stone brick blocks, and 20 stone brick stairs. Let's start by installing the side deck. Place a stone brick block at the second space over, and extend out for 6 blocks. Then we could do the same, moving over to the second block, and making a 6 long row. Then we can connect and fill in.
Then we can add in stairs to the side. Then let's add more stairs along the front and there'll be two blocks of spacing on the ends and three blocks of spacing in between each stair set in the center. Then we can add in a three tall by two wide window opening. Then we can leave one sandstone block of spacing and make another three tall by two wide opening. Then on top, we can make a smaller two by two window. And we can fill all these with glass. Then let's do the same on the back side. To refresh, make a 3x2 window, then another 3x2 window above that with one block of spacing, and then above this we can leave one block of spacing and make a 2x2 window. Then for the side, let's add in three tall single wide windows. Then we can skip two spaces, then make another window then leave two more spaces, and we can continue this pattern. Now, we can do the same pattern for the next row as well. Then on top of that, we could do the same pattern, but only make these single wide windows two blocks tall. Now let's repeat the same exact process for the other side of the house. Now as a reminder, move over two blocks, then make a six long row. Then we could do the same on the other side. and fill in the extra space. Also, don't forget to add in the stairs. Then we can add in windows in the front and make the first one three blocks tall by two wide, as well as the one above that, and then for the one on top we can make that two by two. Then we can add in single wide windows on the side. And each one will have two blocks of spacing in between. Then when we start the next row, make sure there's one block of spacing in between. Step 9. Next up is the entrance columns and back door columns. We'll need 4 stone brick stairs, 52 stone brick blocks, and 48 spruce slabs. Let's start by placing 2 stone brick stairs at the base. Then let's make a stone brick column at the side. And make this column one block short of the top. Then make an identical column on the other side. And we can stop this one block short from the top as well.
Then at the bottom half of the fifth stone brick block up, let's place a spruce slab. Then we can add this border around. And place two in the center. Then let's do the same exact pattern the top half of the ninth stone block up. Then we can do the spruce slab pattern at the top. Then let's repeat for the other side. To refresh, add two stairs at the base. Then two columns on the sides. And make sure these columns are one block short from the top. Then make three sets of spruce slab overhangs. And the first spruce slab overhang will be at the bottom half of the fifth stone brick block up. Then the next one will be at the top half of the ninth stone brick block up. And then one more at the top. Step 10. Next is to work on the roofs for the front and side additions, as well as some of the trim for the house. We'll need 344 glass blocks, 112 spruce fence posts, 44 birch fence posts, and 536 spruce slabs. To start, let's add spruce slabs below the upper windows of the front additions. Then let's add another row below it. And make sure there's half a block of spacing in between. Then we can continue to the other side. Then we can add spruce fence posts on top, as well as a spruce slab on top and below it. Then we can wrap this to the other side. Then we can add in glass blocks for the top. Then let's repeat this for the other front addition. As a reminder, start the slabs below the upper windows. And make sure there's half a block of spacing in between the two rows. Then we can add fence posts along the top, with a slab above it and a slab below it. Then let's add glass blocks for the roof, and this will be a skylight. Then let's repeat this for the back two additions. Now the front additions are the same exact pattern as the back, so if you remember this, you can skip along farther in the step. However, I'll let it play out just in case if you need extra information. And if you remember this pattern, you can skip to 45 minutes and 45 seconds on the timeline. And that'll bring us to the next part.
Then once completed with the front and back additions, we can work on the side additions. And for this, we can add birch fence posts and slabs on top and bottom. And this will be at the same height as the other overhang as well. Then continue to the back side. Then we can add in spruce slab trim, and this will line up with the other trim. And make sure there's half a block of spacing in between the two rows. Then we can work on the top by adding in spruce fence post with a slab above it and a slab below it. Then let's repeat the same pattern for the other side. If you remember how to do the previous pattern, you can skip to 48 minutes on the timeline, as this is the same exact pattern as the other side of the house. However, I'll let it play through just in case if you need an extra reminder on how to make this step. Then once completed, we can add in glass blocks in the remaining openings, and this will finish the roof. Step 11. Next up is the landscaping, and I'll leave this up to you. However, if you'd like to do your landscaping the same way as I did mine, you will need coarse dirt blocks, poppy flowers, as well as dead bushes. And these dead bushes will give the mansion a desert theme. However, you can also use oak leaves or even plant trees nearby. Then next I use the shovel and turn the grass into path blocks. But again, you can go as elaborate or as plain as you would like for the landscaping. And you can even add vines to the walls if you'd like.
Step 12. Next up is the interior walls and interior design. And you can lay out the interior walls any ways you would like, as you might want some of the rooms larger and some of the rooms smaller. However, if you'd like to know where I added in extra walls, I'll show a diagram of each floor. First, we added in walls along the side additions. Then I added a large wall on the left and a small room in front of that. Then one in back of that. Then at the right side of the house, we added in a room in the back corner. Then one in front of that. Then one in the middle and another one after that. Then we added in walls for the corner room as well. Now we could do a walk through the house. And mine is empty. However, you could fill yours with a ton of furniture. And you could even make a crafting room, a storage room, an enchanting room, a furnish slash boiler room, and you could even make a pile of bedrooms. And this will be great if you have many friends on your server. Now, for the second floor, I laid my walls out a little differently, and I'll put a diagram up on the screen. And that'll be an easy way to follow along for the interior wall design. Now we can head up to the third floor, and I left the third floor as it is, as I kind of like this open space. But again, you can add in extra walls if you'd like. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this build, as it's the largest build project I've made to this point on my channel. And this house is definitely a masterpiece that will definitely stand out on your server. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build, or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe, because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.